If Walter Chrysler was alive today, he'd be a proud man. Take this breakthrough from his company. This is the CCV, or Composite Concept Vehicle. It's meant to be a very affordable, very basic, environmentally friendly car aimed at the third world. Inspired by plastic model kits, the CCV has only four body pieces that are actually glued together. When you think that an average steel car has up to 80 different parts, this is a big breakthrough. Those four pieces are the minimum number that you can make and still get structural strength by bonding the two together and making the, the, the two halves uh, come together. So it's a, a really the minimum number of pieces that could be conceived of in making a body. The plastic body piece idea means that if the CCV were to be manufactured, they reckon that it would take one third of the time to manufacture the car in a plant one tenth the space for one fifth the cost. But that's not all. You're looking at a virtually 100% recyclable car. The polyester resin the shells are made from is the same stuff as lemonade bottles. Well, the, the, the material we use, we call it PET. Uh, it's fundamentally, it's the same pop bottles you buy at the store and then we reformulate it to some degree and we add gla chopped glass to it for structure. It takes about, if you had a two liter bottle, it takes about 2,000 bottles to make this main body. But that's not all, oh no. The composite concept vehicle is so lightweight that it's very efficient at using its fuel. It'll get over 50 miles to the gallon and it should cost under four grand brand new. But that's not all. Even the tools needed to build the CCV cost 33% less than standard tools. Well, all this sounds far too good to be true. And I'm afraid I have to tell you the two major problems in the way of production here. Firstly, this plastic car has to have a matte finish. You could polish it all day in your drive and it won't get shiny. Would punters really buy a non-glossy car? More importantly though, because it's created with so many plastics, passing USA and European crash standards without a steel skeleton will be a challenge, if not impossible. A nice idea, but this is a project which looks like it will be tied up in too much red tape to continue.